Hello guys, welcome to the second video with the second newsletter and in the second newsletter I will be concentrating a lot on accessories that goes with off the grid camping. Right guys, let's start. I've described some accessories in the newsletter and I said to you guys you've got to wait for the video to see the next one. <coughs> Um, let me start off with the accessories. In this green case is a pair of binoculars. Very, very nice accessory to have around if you are doing um, bird and game watching. You've got to have that one. That's, I would say, almost essential. This one is very important. This is a 12 volt to 220 volt inverter. And I use this only while driving. Uh, I can charge my laptop, I can charge my phones, I can charge everything on this. The next item is a set of 12 volt, 9 to 12 volt lights. They are very handy. The one actually plugs into the cigarette lighter of the car and the other one actually have a little 9 volt battery. So this, this is a neat little pack to keep handy when you are off the grid. The next set is very important. This is a little axe and spade set. What it does, you just press a little handle and the handle comes out, the axe part goes off, you insert the spade part and bobs your uncle. There you've got a little spade. Do I need to explain what you need to do with a spade? off the grid, going to the toilet, you need this. Um, when you do, when you use the system, just remember that uh, should you uh, be using nature for a toilet, just burn the paper. Cover up the whole, chuck little stick in there to tell somebody else, I've been there, don't go there, and that's it. So, uh, the next item, very handy for me as a photographer is my tripods. I've got a few of them. I've got one on top of the car. I've got the one on there. The camera is standing on one. And the other gadget is a tent. I've got my awning up or my um, gazebo up. My gazebo is my number one item that I keep handy. This leaves me with what I keep you guys in the newsletter. Uh, anxious about. This is a little pile of wood and I had the privilege to travel into Angola and you would find wherever this Angolan truck is busy they would collect these little bunches of wood and you would ask yourself why do they do that? Because the Angolans don't have power or whatever but charcoal there is by far enough so before I carry on, just have a look at these few photographs I've taken of my uh, truck uh, journey up to Luhanda in Angola and then I'll carry on. You've seen the, the little insert there, so let me just move this out of the way. The next gadget that I'm that I really like a lot is this little gadget. This is in fact an Angolan trucker charcoal stove. Now Angolans don't have um, gas and stuff like that, but one thing they have plenty of is charcoal. And this is a, a little charcoal stove. Now what it does is that the whole thing actually just flips up. It can just hang on hinges like this. You see? It just hangs on hinges. And at the bottom goes in a little drip. Like that. Now this is a little poker needed because this obviously once the charcoal is burning in this 
this whole thing is getting hot. So what you what they do is they keep that little lid open. They put the fire lighters down there. They put the charcoal on top. Now they don't need a lot of charcoal uh, because um, the the area is contained and the charcoal can actually a little small little bit of charcoal can cook a whole meal. Now this little lid folds down in the front. And what it does is this contains so, the charcoal. All that you need is to do two little charcoal or two little fire lighted blocks underneath. Just like that. Absolutely perfect for more meat. You don't need a lot of this stuff. can just leave that all right guys and after a few minutes um, you can see the charcoal is starting to burn it's absolutely beautiful everything is controlled closed up I'm real happy. guys this is my campsite and uh, instead of putting up the tent this evening I sort of decided to uh, stay with a camp car sleep and uh, as you guys know the camp car is already fully equipped and everything that opens and closes so uh, I'll be sleeping here this evening and it's just my laptop over there on that side and I'm real excited about this campsite okay morning guys uh, I just got up look at this eh? I'm right under these rock faces eh? isn't that something to see This is my campsite. This was my campsite for the night. And uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, like, uh, like this video. So um, this lot is, is now cold. I can bury the coals. Mm -hmm. 